So wrong. Every <laughs> aspect of it is so wrong. She's such a scaredy cat. I am. Listen, being in this dark area right here, <laughs> very scary for me. Well, with your line of work and being against the wall of death, it's a little ironic, if you know what I'm saying. Don't you think? I mean, wouldn't this scare you if you were in the dark? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. You're okay, insane. For real, You're insane. For real. Kiwanis. Kiwanis. New club. Corn fest. Seventh year. Seventh year. Seventh year. I feel like it's been going on for years and years and years and years. It has. It was from previous years and previous Qantas clubs, but our reiteration seven years ago started here with the Noom Club. So here we are. We've grown and grown and grown, and now we're bigger and bigger and bigger. And well, Corn, 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 Corn Fest 2.0. And bigger and bigger. Yes. Yes. Uh, AOBI kids, they come and help out a lot with it. They come out, they help build all of the structure for the haunt uh, inside the tent. They do it in like two or three days instead of the three weeks that our old men take, used to take. So we pay them for that. It's part of the proceeds that when we it. generate income off of this whole thing that we end up paying them. They get like four or five grand or something like that for coming out and helping Well, us. if I remember correctly, last year's Kiwanis, uh, Colorado River Kiwanis Noon Club, Corn Fest, gave back $42,000 to the 47000 47000 So I want to really make sure that people know, A, this is all volunteer as far as Kiwanians and months and months of preparation. Then you get the students involved um, who get to come out and work hard, learn how to do things as well, and bring you know what they do to us. Um, but they get to make money for their clubs. You really won't find another um, event going on this weekend that gives back to the community like that. It's all for the community. Not, not a dollar's leaving town. We're all here. We've got people, you know, with, with regard to different um, outfits that we've got. That we, you know, even the. Um, we got a petting zoo. We've got ponies for the pony rides. We've got my axe throwing trailer. <laughs> Your axe no throwing axe. trailer? Your axe I throwing trailer? I designed it. I built it. It's my axe Ours. throwing trailer. Oh, good lord. Good but lord. I, and I sponsor it every year just okay, so we make okay. money on that from that. So come <laughs> throw the axe. You know, if you've never thrown an axe, it's fun. And maybe we can get Maria to stand back up there and if you miss. <laughs> I'll have no, we're not putting Maria out oh, there. Oh, not Maria? No. 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 What, what, what do you have against me? Yes. <laughs> Seriously, what do you have against me? I, nothing against We used you. to be the dream team. Well, yeah. They are. I guess that dream just fell apart. Some of it changes. Uh, let's talk about you two really quick. How long have you each individually been involved in Kiwanis? Because this always blows my mind. I mean, it shows age and time invested in volunteering how long for me 20 years 20 years 20 years and i was part of the um, noon the old noon club who actually put on corn fasts oh. so the mesa club yeah so we were a part of that original group actually his wife and i were part of that original group that's how i met this guy um lucky him lucky him <laughs> very first time I met her, she did, I threw her out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. really because she wouldn't quit drinking my beer. Listen, like, when you invite your people over for drinking a beer, <laughs> then... <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was it was the beginning of a terrible friendship. It was the beginning friendship. of the end. The beginning of the end. The, uh, the most terrible friendship that has lasted 20 some odd years. Yes. It's a horrible friendship. <laughs> like How this. long have you been involved, Ken? I hit town in 1989, fresh out of law school, and joined because my partner, uh, Mr. Weiss, said, you need to join Qantas. So I joined Qantas in 1989. I don't know what's that, 35 years? It's been like, 35 yeah, years. I think you're 35 years. I think I'm the, I think I'm, am I the oldest? Now you surviving are. Surviving now? Now you are, yes. Since all the other ones died? Be, no, because um, Gene and Sherry um, quit. kind of retired. Gene well, they didn't quit, they, they just they retired. retired. They retired. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of years in and a lot of time given yeah. um, is what I always like to, for people who are not in these clubs and maybe think that these things just magically happen, that's really not the case. It takes 
months and months. Yeah. <laughs> Used to us. <laughs> and volunteer hours. And um, it all happens out of love and really enjoying each other's time. I mean, when you talk to you guys and people like Jean and Sherry, what you find is that your families have really grown up through Kiwanis and you see your children giving back. You know, the examples that you've gotten to lead for them is pretty amazing. Absolutely. Well, the reason we have Corn Fest, again, is because your daughter. my daughter came back into town with a baby and said, hey, why don't we have Corn Fest anymore? Because you know, we used to take her to that and, yeah. and the kids and everything. I said, well, just because nobody's done it properly. They tried a couple times, but it didn't really work. Yeah. And, and I said, so we could try that. And then we did, and now we are. Yep. And now it's a, it's a great event, and, and, and you know, the money that it generates is really important to yeah. a lot of the different groups that come out here because we're cutting checks anywhere from a thousand to four or five thousand dollars for each of the individual uh, kid groups that come out and help uh, do all the things that we need them to do. Yes. So. We have the Finley sponsored Kid Zone as well, which is super exciting. Um, a safe area that's kind of blocked off with jumpers. You can allow them to jump and run. I really like that you guys have also done, uh, it's kind of BYOB. There's food and there's normal drinks and you can entertain. So you can come, buy the tickets to do the, you know, extravaganza stuff, um, really at a reasonable price. You can bring the family. Right. And yeah, can, it's free to walk in the door. Yeah. You want to come and, you know, we've got the music and the different uh, kid groups that will be going on in the entertainment stage. Um, and, you know, if you want to buy tickets, you can. I mean, it all it all helps from that standpoint. But you know, you can limit you know whatever your budget is from that standpoint. Our tickets are still a dollar. Uh, you know, we just everything you just buy a, a bunch of that. Or wristband is I don't even know what the wristband. I think is wristbands here. are ten dollars. The ten dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, you come here Very affordable. on Friday sure. from five to ten. Kids are jumping for a few hours, and you're watching the bands and and the music and everything and. Uh, yeah, bring your own beer. It's cheaper yeah. that way, right? Well, it is, and it just makes it really family-oriented because you can bring them. You can enjoy yourself, yeah. you know, doing these little scary haunts. Some other places charge big money to do that, so it's really affordable to right. come out, get the spookiness, enjoy the bands, enjoy the corn. Obviously, there's corn, there's um, corn. and all kinds of other different vendors. The petting zoo always goes off amazingly. Um, and then you always have the little section with all the little shops, so supporting yeah, local people we as have well. We have our that, vendors. That's going to be over on the grassy area this year, uh, so you know, yeah. you're not walking through the dirt. You're just going over there, and, and I, I, I think we've probably got 50. Yeah, we're right about somewhere about 50. About 50 vendors who have come out, and they really look forward to that from, from that standpoint. We'll have like 10 or 12 or so food vendors, so we've got a big variety of food that we try to get uh, put in here. Um, and then uh, just all the fun stuff that we've got that, that you know, it really is. It's, it's a family thing that we created to have the families have some place to go. And, you know, who doesn't like a good corn fest? It's a, it's like a fall corn festival corn. for the fun right. of us. And you know what? It's a, it's a place where people, once a year, they bump into each other every yeah. year. And my daughter, when I first moved here, my daughter was in 10th grade. And so she did corn fest 10th through 12th, you know. And now my grandkids are in high school. And wow, you are old. I am very old. I'm very old. <laughs> my I don't listen. I don't look old. My grandchildren but you do. are. My <laughs> you show your age. Like Maria does. Good for her. Good for her. Good for your. Good for your oldest grandchild. <laughs> listen, Maria. Sarah's advanced. Okay. That's right. Yes. Hmm. Well. When I first moved here 30 years ago, I went to the first corn fest, and back then it was where Smiths is or Safeway yep. is. Yep. 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 And. Up I came from, you know, California, and I thought my parents were crazy bringing up. I agree. Two-lane little rug with nothing in it. Um, but it was those things that really made me, within six months of being here, this was my home. Yep. And it what had to do with those the corn fest and the, just the family, you know, the sports and the things, the, the smell of hay. Like, you just <laughs> fall in love with the area, and it's these types of things that make that happen. Yep, absolutely. Ah, guys. So, hours and location. Uh, we're right here off the highway at Gary Keith Park. Um, can't miss us. Big blue tent's already up, so just look to the right as you're headed south. And Friday is yeah, 5 to 10. Friday is 5 to 10. And then uh, Saturday? On, that's October 25th. 5th and 26th. And then Saturday it's from 10 to 11. Um, and 
We're, Correct. You know, we keep it open that late because our the haunt will start around 6.30 or 7 when the sun goes down. Um, that kind of triggers that. Uh, and then, you know, we just have a lot of people go through the haunt. The haunt generates probably around uh, 25 percent, 20 to 25 percent of our entire revenue uh, for the weekend. And the haunt's really scary. I'm going to tell you, I will come through here during, I'll come through here during the day. But you cannot catch me coming through this thing at night. I mean, because can you listen this at night? Listen, I'm, 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 I'm done with you. I'm so done with you. I scared but, her when she first came in. Yes, you see it was horrible. It was, but you know what? He, listening to all, all the screams and the kids running yeah, out, no, uh, you know, know. Um, is, is, it's just scary in You itself. know that me and Jeff always do all the haunted places, um, but we go during the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we usually Absolutely. do not hit them during the night. Jeff Listen, does not, not want to go in there, and he makes me go, Jeff, and I'm, I'm like, you. we're going during the day. This is I the am a scaredy piece. So the theme for the haunt this year is based all upon scary movies. movies. So every room is a different scary movie as its background, and we have different groups and individuals who are creating, doing the rooms and themselves. Uh, and so they pick a movie, and then they build it out according to that, and so you're going to see a lot of different things with regard to how all that kind of plays out. Well, and I assume that's where, like, the theater kids kind of come in. They get to come in, and they get to be a character. And, yes. you know, they get to have those memories for themselves. Yes, we have all, all, the, all of the actors are pri primarily kids who are from the different uh, schools uh, who want to participate. And if you want to participate, get all of us in. We okay, have so a, a... Is it there a meeting tonight? Full Head City Corn Fest. Is it tonight? I think that there's a meeting tonight for all the actors. Probably on site. Oh, yes. here. Yes. At three, maybe? Uh, yes, at three o'clock, all the actors. Um, if you're interested or have a group that's interested, you can reach out to any of us. We're correct. all on Facebook. You can, you know, call Finley, um, and we can get you in touch with the right all people. the information. Absolutely. Yeah. Or just show up here at three o'clock. Or just show up here at three o'clock today. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, because it's you know that's that's a good thing they do with yeah. all that. I don't like the hunt. <laughs> are, you are, are you afraid? Are you afraid? Does it scare you? Don't want, I don't Kenneth? Want scary Kenneth? Either. Me neither. I thought when I hugged him that he had kind of a smell, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to hug him again. And then I realized it's this jacket. <laughs> so if I'm Is smelling, it the smell I'm of death? Sorry. Is it the smell of death? Smell. So fun. Oh my God. Ah! This is fun. This is fun. I, I'm sorry that No, I you scared the bejesus out. Sorry. She scared the bejesus out. And listen, she's still laughing about it. So there's there's a part of me that no. seriously thinks that she's going to be so proud of me. I am thinking that you are so not sorry. Well, I thought I was going to get Maria with a scream or Ken with a punch. I wasn't sure which way I was going to get. <laughs> but I knew I would get them one the, way or The guess. punch is still in there. <laughs> if I dig deep. If I dig deep. Yes. Well, again, I'm excited to always have you know, Kiwanis and Cornfest um, on the show. It's important. It's really heart and soul of giving back. It's it's the Cornfest. It's the Park Fall Festival. It's what your children will remember as long as you bring them and give them the chance. So can make I, it a family day. Can I make mention that yes. Billet Home Health and Hospice is the major sponsor of the Cornfest? Um, so yeah, this is our first year being the major sponsor, and we're very excited. Uh, once again, once again, giving back to the community is something that's extremely important to us. So we're yeah, really happy. <laughs> you know, and, and you know what? We're really happy too. We do a, a number of events, but we only do events that make sense to us. And uh, this being one of the largest um, events in the area, um, that's kind of tailored to families. Um, we're really proud to be part of this group. We have a lot of sponsors, um, and are always appreciative of that. As anyone knows, especially this time of year, all of us nonprofit organizations are out there asking for support. Um, you do? I know. Oh, holy yeah. moly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really I thought it was you, Ken. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> he, he ain't my friend no more. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to say a huge thank you to all the sponsors. If you go onto the Corn Fest Facebook page, you can see all of those. We continue to share them. Um, but we can't do it without them. No, absolutely cannot not. do without the volunteers. It takes money and volunteers to make all of these things successful. And it also takes the community coming out and supporting um, the event. So we look forward to seeing you guys here. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to any of us. Um, but know that when you're supporting the Colorado River Kiwanis Noon Club at the Corn Fest, that you are supporting local vendors, which is very absolutely. important. Um, local youth programs, which is very important, and 
really kind of life changing and, and memories, you know? Absolutely. Oh, give it a cry. It's been a very emotional week this week. <laughs> That's right. That's it. Right. You know what? She gets this award. She is the Jan Bar Barrios recipient um, of, for the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And now she is just going crazy. Crazy. Listen, I love this community. Crazy. I mean, you guys do too. 30, 100 years and 20 years. 30, 100 years. Listen, he looks like he's 30, 100 years old. I was like seven when you started. Cool. <laughs> he must be dead. <laughs> hey, we're gonna put, hey, we're going to put your picture on this back wall. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's where you need yeah. to be. Right there. Or look at look at there's your twin. There's your twin. There's your doppelganger. Right I, there. You know, I think we no, should right just here. put all of your current no, look right there. On them. No, look there. It on the wall. <laughs> look at you. Because they'll eventually Home become mine. Home and hospice, if you don't will... know. It's kind of ironic that we're sitting <laughs> I <laughs> agree. we're sitting in front of this wall right now. Very scary. <laughs> Very scary. Are we done? No. Thank you guys for showing ah, us. Ah, thank you. Um, come see the haunt. Well, the haunt goes after Corn Fest, so correct? No. It, it is. Not this year? No. Nope. Not this year. We're not uh, doing it. If you no missed big. it, then you missed it last That's year. right. You've got to come out. So it's not going to be on Halloween this year. Yeah, good to know. We're just doing it during this, so that's it. So we're not. Because we're not doing our trunk or treat this year. We're not doing year. the trunk or treat. We, we asked that in favor of the bed program. Have yes. you guys heard about the bed program? Yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the bed program. All right, so the bed program was brought to us by our treasurer, Derek, uh, Derek Foss, uh, who says he got it from his wife. And it's about Usually building they're... beds and providing beds to children in our community who don't have a bed to sleep in. There's lots of, apparently there's lots of kids uh, who don't, are either sleeping on a couch, sleeping on the floor, sleeping with their parents. Um, doubling up. Doubling up. And so they can go on. We have a on, on, a, on our website, our Kiwanis website. They can apply for a bed, meet certain criteria, and we're building beds. And we gave and out 25, 25 so far. And I think that when we first started the program, um, at the inception of it, we thought that we were going to be building 25 beds, and you know, every quarter. So maybe 100 beds, at, you know, for a year. Um, and what we didn't realize is that the need for beds was so great that within. When we first launched the website, um, we had over a request for over 200 beds. So one of the great things about, once again, reaching out to the community, um, Derek did such a fabulous job. I think Bob Ensley um, hooked him up with somebody from Home Depot. And we found out yesterday that Home Depot is in, it's actually, it's Home Depot Foundation. Let's be very clear about that. It's the Home Depot Foundation. Um, has donated $21,500 to our bed build, and we will be building beds January 10th. So that's another one where I think that there's three different Home Depot locations that are going to be coming together, and they're going to be um, sponsoring about 30 employees. And then with our Kwanians, we're looking at about 100 to 120 people um, working the event. So and once again... Gonna, and we're going to build 150 beds correct. on that day, one day. One day. From beginning to end, cut the wood. And these are all very heavy duty beds, nice. and they they're will free. Last a lifetime. And they're free for all of the the people who qualify. We take we actually take and deliver the beds out to the homes, set them up because we have to install them where, you know, where they go. Correct. Um, and they come with bed. They come with a mattress. Uh, mattress Land is helping us on that, and it comes with bedding. Uh, so we're we've got. I mean, that's what we're doing. That's our big big push for, for January, and. and uh, yeah, so if you're looking to get involved, you can also, uh, web, there's a Facebook page for the bed program. Um, but again, you can reach out to us. We're they also are, looking, we're always looking for Kiwanians too. Yes. So not just to, to donate money or, you know, financial support for the bed program or Corn Fest or any of the programs that we put on, but we're also looking for people to join our Kiwanis Club. I, we have a very strong Kiwanis Club. We have a fun Kiwanis Club. We meet um, every Wednesday, with the exception of the last Wednesday of the month, at the Miracle Mile Event Center at noon. Um, you know, I always tell people, we, we just had two new members just sign up uh, or just join with us um, this last week. Um, you know, come and see what we're all about. I think that once you come to a meeting and, you know, Mr. Great Personality over here, you know, just bring nobody them wants in. To, nobody wants to leave my presence once they get <laughs> That's how it goes. You know Is that, that how it goes? Yeah. Yes. Why you're still my friend after all Hook, these Hook, Yeah, listen. I do choose these two to sit by every week. <laughs> we do. We, we are the and dream every team. Week, every week, we all, the three of us all sit together. Yeah. So, uh, 
Yes. I mean, really, if you're looking to get involved and want yeah. to make a change, it can be as big as small as you. you know, we have some people who have a lot of time to give and some people who have less. So don't be afraid of just coming to see what it's about and making change for this community. That's kind of absolutely each group that I'm in and each um, amazing member that I've come across and I've had my life personally changed. I mean, I could go down the list of people where I Agreed. think I know what being in the community is and what it what my role is and then I meet someone who's so exceptional and they don't even know they are they don't even know that what they do is not normal um, but it's really cool when you get to sit in a room with people of action over and over again and see how people come together and show up for each other uh, I continuously say that this community shows up for each other and it really goes back to these kinds of clubs so I Absolutely. commend you guys for be doing this so long Thank you for being a piece of my puzzle, yeah. for sure. Um, he's, he's a little old, you know. <laughs> takes a little while. He to, was to get, I was, I was thinking about how it's just been a great ride because it's been a long time. I mean, my I spent more time being a Kwanian than not now yeah. in my lifetime. <laughs> Well, and, and you know what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, that's how it goes. if you think about it that way. Yeah. I feel like I, I often ask. We are not the good why. We are not good examples yes, for are. our children. I often ask the why when when I talk to you know people of nonprofit organizations that have been involved for so long because it can get tiring and exhausting and overwhelming at times, and it usually goes back to a wanting to make a difference for the community, but wanting to lead a good example for their children sure. to understand why it's important to you. And now you have to be a good example for the grandchildren because they're this watching a whole nother level. Absolutely. Whole different level. Whole different level. Whole different level. So thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you to everyone that will show up to make this all go round for the two days. And thank you for everyone that will come out and support the community event um, and have for year after year. We need you and the community is here for you. Yep. Come on thank down to Corn Thank you for showing up. We'll see you the 25th and the 26th. <laughs> Just make sure that. <laughs> Stop it. Don't be scared. No, nah. seriously. You are. <laughs> you're very scary. <laughs> Too very, much fun. A little scary. Very scary. Not gonna lie. Very Have a good day. That's camp.